you're in this industry, you can see it when you go into locations, that there are those people who love what they do, whether they're supervising a shop, running a business, operating a machine, they love it and we help them do that. That's fun. We act as counselors with our customers, you know, right. we're an unpaid employee. I like that idea that they get all the benefits of our team. They know who we are personally, so they can call up on the phone, reach us on our cell phones, and they know exactly who they're going to speak with so that they can get an answer or feedback or just a sounding board uh, on a, at a moment's notice and that we can feed and give our customers all that information. We're big enough and, and have the amount of products that we can supply the customer the right tools, but small enough that you have a, a more of a friendship and more of a partnership rather than a real corporate structure. Bigger companies tend to look at things more on a, a, a grand scale, where um, a potential customer is looked at more like an account number that's in their database and maybe a total potential dollar value next to them. Uh, our customers are really treated more like friends. It's Steve, it's Fred, it's Joe, Matt, you know, and everybody, when we say that, everybody in here knows who we're talking about. I still think our favorite project is the very first one we did, um, and that is bringing that, that first machine in uh, and making that sort of a change. It was a, really a cultural shift for us at that point um, in, the way, in the way things were done. Um, and uh, the people who have stayed over the years with us, they adopted that very early on um, and, and saw that change and saw the direction and liked it and, and realized that, that that's the future for the company, that, that automation is not something to be afraid of. It's something that really is job security for them. It's not looking to replace their job. It's something to help them and enhance their job so that they're not doing the mundane task of just loading a machine all day long they're doing more than that. Now they're doing the setups on the machine. They're feeding it, but it's in a different capacity. It's not that they're plugged into one machine all day long. Now they have an entire area that's their responsibility. You know, when you're young, you understand that things are made, right? But that's nebulous. You really don't really get what it takes to design something and see it from start to finish. Um, and you think of a complicated product like a gearbox. Um, and then you look at the specific component, that being the gear itself, there's a tremendous amount of work um, from a design and manufacturing side that goes into making that little gear. Um, and then if you look at all those operations, there's a ton of people involved in making one little gear. Um, so I find that fascinating. Um, so when you step back and really look at what we do, we plug into all of these, um, all these teams that work together to make gears that go into all sorts of different products that affect our lives on a day-to-day -day basis.